faces you. So if I want to put it on the front, the front faces me. Now when you wear a t-shirt, you don't just throw it on you like that, do you? No. So you don't throw it on like we did the paper. You're going to roll it up and you're going to put it over the palette. Now there's a knob under here, so make sure you get it over the knob. Pull it all the way down. And then just leave it and step back. And we'll align it for you to get it straight. 
Then you're going to print just like you did before with two little changes. You're going to give it two print strokes. So you're going to print once, twice. And then when you dry it, comes out of the dryer, you run it through the dryer a second time. So t-shirts, two print strokes, twice through the dryer. Okay. So remember this. Is, hold it upside down, the side you want to print on. Faces you. Okay, let's go over there. Put your paper down. You don't want to run out of time. That's good enough. Okay, all the way up till it stops. Now stop. Stay over here. Okay, stop everybody and look over here. I'll show you to take off the shirt. Don't just pull it from the front because you have problems getting it into the dryer. After you print, stand on the side like this. Up, go. Ole! So are you filming? Well, right now what we're creating is the, uh, I don't know, gotta lock this in. Since this is a printing merit badge day, all the boys have to have a blue card for their merit badge. For one for paper and pulp and one for graphic art. So rather than us filling out all the information, we finally decided we're going to actually cast it on the linotype machine, which we did today. And now we're going to print it on the press, and then we sign it. It makes it much easier. The other merit badge uh, programs can't do that. It's been all exciting. day last time signing and, and, uh, and so Mark had a great idea of just setting up the type and actually printing it. <laughs> so here we go. It makes a lot more sense. That's right. Fine, Lewis. Putting the line of type ready. Taking a wild, wild guess, then you just might be Tara. They're HGs. Okay, and you are Dylan. D Y A M. D Y L A. D Y L A M. Yeah. Bo. All right, Dylan. D Y L A M B O. Give me who's next, and you are. 
Okay. I think yeah. we do, yeah. <laughs> that thing. Yes. Uh, what's that? Oh, this is one. Swan? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah. If you guys want to uh, have your name for the Boy Scouts, then we can do yeah. that. Yeah. Or for you, yeah, like, that's whatever you like. Bring on this you can go there. Good. Like this. Am I the Boy Scouts guy? Yeah. And now. Come on. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. Okay. And now. Is that take pig with paper? wings? Yeah, is, it, is that a pig with wings? It is. Pig with wings. What kind of paper would you like? Swine blue. I get it. Pig with wings. Oh. Down. Now this. Now press. Okay. <laughs> Open. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's my property. My property. <laughs> Actually, this is pretty well broken up. There's still a few big chunks, so we keep working. We just keep mulching up until it really breaks up into fine, fine fibers. Okay. Ready again? Oh, I'm ready. Uh, down, down, boy, down. Okay. I know you said there's a weight that's two tons, that's, yep. that's the weight of a farm. You're right. But a similar cylinder press like this in New York City would weigh between 10,000 and 20,000 pounds. Which one was easier to bring over the back roads, the small towns and villages? This one. It also was manually operated, not required from its own sources of power, like water, coal, steam, or later electricity. You could just have two people operate. Uh, the apprentice, which you all know who the apprentice is, right? What an apprentice is? Not the person who gets fired by Donald Trump, right? You remember him. Don't worry about money. He would stand there and feed the paper. The uh, printer would turn the wheel. Now, in the center, you're going to hear a snap. Now, in the center, you see where the letters are? Look carefully. You're going to hear a snap and a click. That's so the letters drop, so this large cylinder can go over with that ink getting on it. The small letters come back, get inked up. In the 
50 years of code, 12 million books uh, this is a pretty big group, so we might have to do it in two, uh, two parts. So, May 22, uh, give a demo on how to uh, do this. after this is then you go this ink cannot air dry it pretty much goes uh, it could sit here for a month and it would still be wet so what you have to do is you have to run it through a dryer and the temperature of the dryer is about 320 degrees and that will cure the ink so okay. we'll put the I guess the 24 push the handle back down and that'll give you 25 copies okay Because the printing press can't print any value for color but a solid color. So we trick your eye. If we're printing pink, we have white dots mixed with red dots, and your brain sees it as pink. And the colors are all the same value. Here are the screens that you would put in front of that when you're filtering out the colors. And every one of those has to be printed at a different angle or you get what the physics term for it is a moiré pattern. And if you, when you're driving home today on the freeway, you see an overpass with a chain link fence. If there's one on both sides of the overpass, watch as you drive under it and you'll see a pattern shift in the chain link. And here's holding. Well, each one of these, I guess we run a piece of paper through the folding machine to figure out how it works. And two guys up here, push it in, push it until it's wrapped. Oh, it's been a while. It's a little faster than you can do it by hand. Yeah. Okay. You can do that. Oh, there you go. Wow. Whoa. You can see it wouldn't even slow down for a finger. There you go. Turn me on to it. It's, it just uh, it just allows it to flow better. Like on, on really porous papers, it's high and low if you were to magnify it. And even though you impress it, it just takes paper, it takes ink differently. So what I just try to do, if I'm running some solids, and if, if you read the mixing instructions, you don't need much. It changes the viscosity, is that what it is? Or? It changes the viscosity of your ink. So what I do is I just add just a couple drops. So this, so this is, so it makes out easier. Does it clump as much, right? No, it does, it just makes it more long. And when you get these back, you have to remember that the ink is still wet. So what can you tell me about this Boy Scouts uh, day? It's been a very fantastic and educational day for the boys. Uh, I think the, the one thing that they just don't appreciate is the whole history of the paper making and the printing. Uh, it's, it shows them things that uh, they haven't even probably only seen in a history book, if that much. It's been a great experience for them and uh, they've absorbed a lot of it by osmosis.
king. I don't know if the public schools, given the budget cuts and everything, would be able to make it, but I would certainly, uh, you know, a lot of the Montessori schools and specialty schools, uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic place for the kids to come and to see a little bit more. Well, you know that trailer out there, Mark goes around and gives lectures to schools. And Phil also, they take the trailer with them and they'll uh, That's great. set it up. That's really great. The, the trailer is super. Uh, it's just amazing. The one gentleman that was get, helping with our tour said that he taught graphic arts for 35 years. Mm -hmm. And all the stuff that he taught, he stopped teaching, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years ago, but all the stuff that he was teaching is no longer applicable because of all the new computers and everything. Sure. And uh, it's just... But here you get to see how it was done in the past. You see how it was done and uh, what it really, a typesetter, the, the hours to put it together and then the hours to put it back into mm -hmm. the sort them out by letters again. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope some of the boys have enjoyed it as much. But I also get it from a different perspective. The mechanical devices to see these presses and the way that the gears turn and squeeze things and rotate. Uh, there were some real engineers, mm -hmm. great engineers, 200 years ago to, divide, to design these things and come up with them. Sure. So tell me about coming to this place for this day. Oh, it was just an amazing day. The kids got to do uh, silk screen printing, learn about the whole history of print, uh, make paper. Uh, we have a venture crew and uh, some Boy Scouts, and they all had a fabulous day. Oh, great. So you ever been here before? Never, ever even heard of it before. Ah. <laughs> First time, and we'll definitely be back. Good, good. That's what we like. You know, educate people, uh, show them all the stuff that used to be done. Well, you know, our kids have no idea about the history of printing. We mm -hmm. just had some fabulous speakers just to teach them all about it. Oh, great. Yeah, had you uh, ever seen a Gutenberg press before? I've never seen a Gutenberg press before. <laughs> First time. Mm -hmm. Did they tell you about how they make the type and all that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, good. Yeah.